Hello boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, background building interactive video lesson regarding the mouth, teeth, tongue, and saliva. Today's um, video lesson will mainly be uh, showing you an assortment of pictures. I expect you to just get acquainted with and start seeing the vocabulary words. You're not going to learn as much today with this video lesson as you will in class, but this video lesson is meant to prepare you for class. We'll do some interactive activities together as well. Um, so pay attention to some of the vocabulary and some of the things that I say. Take the survey afterwards and we'll learn further in class tomorrow. So let's start with our mouth. The mouth is uh, th the very first step in the digestive process and that's because food uh, enters your mouth and you know that of course food <laughs> enters your mouth and di digestion begins over there so the the action of digesting a food begins in the mouth take a look at this um, model of a mouth um, you'll see that there is a tongue um, and there are teeth what you don't see is saliva actually you know, I have a separate picture for that what I want you to do right now is I want you to go and tap these teeth your incisors there at the bottom uh, and even at the top over here, go ahead and tap them. Tap them lightly. You don't want to get hurt. Those are called your incisors. They're a particular kind of tooth, and something that you'll learn I in class uh, uh, later in the week is that you have different kinds of teeth that do different types of types of jobs. Just by looking at these types of teeth and looking at the name incisor, could you infer? what these teeth uh, do? Could you infer their, their job? Do they tear food? Do they uh, um, grind food? Do they chomp and stomp food? They have a very particular job, incisors. That's one thing that you should learn from this video lesson is that all teeth have a different kind of job. Now, um, with your finger, very carefully, I want you to go touch your molars. They're in the back of your mouth. And as you're touching them, I want you to consider what job your molars have. Just by looking at them, you can infer uh, what they do. Now, I'll ask you, do they tear food? Do they grind food? Do they chomp and stomp on food? They do have a particular action. Um, incisors have a particular action or job. Now, be careful when you touch this next tooth. Are you ready? Okay. This is your canine. Um, and this tooth over here, you'll notice, is a little bit sharper. And you've got one here, one there. You have a canine here, and you have a canine over there. Now, just by looking at the canine and even feeling your own canine, where it's a little bit sharper around the, uh, the, the corner or the edge, uh, I want you to tell me, what do you think these teeth do? Do they tear food? Do they cut food? Do any of these teeth cut food? Do they grind food? Do they st they chomp down on the food? Um, you know, kind of like pressing down on it. All these teeth you'll learn have different jobs to do. And let, just to practice again, you may want to go back and touch your incisors, touch your canines, uh, go to the back of your mouth, touch your molars as well. We even have things called premolars, which we'll study. Um, of course, we have lips as well. I don't know if you could say the lips are really as much part of the digestive process. Uh, cer certainly, you can make a case for them being part of the digestive process. But food enters your mouth, and as soon as it hits your tongue, your 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 teeth, your saliva, the digestive process has begun. Take a look at this uh, picture. This is a model of a tooth. Now, believe it or not, there's really only one or two parts of your tooth that you can touch. Can you touch um, maybe on your lower teeth? Because this would be the gum on your lower teeth. Can you touch the crown of any lower tooth you have? Go ahead and touch the crown of a tooth. It's the top of a tooth. Go ahead and touch that crown. Okay. Now what I want you to do, maybe with your uh, incisors, if you know where those are, or your, your, your teeth in the front of your mouth, try to touch the enamel and try to gently tap it with your nail. See if you can touch the crown and the enamel. You'll notice that the root certainly is not something you can touch. Pulp is not something you can touch. And dentin, these are parts of the tooth that are inside the tooth. So I want you to learn from this that the tooth has outer parts, like the crown and the enamel, and it has inner parts, like the dentin, like the pulp and the root. Doesn't dentin sound like dentist? I'm sure you don't want to touch your pulp or your root or your dentin. Um, I'm sure you're just comfortable touching the crown of your tooth and then the enamel 
of your tooth. The enamel is that outer layer of the tooth. You might even take what's called a water pick. It's a tool the dentists use to scrape plaque off, and you, make it, I mean you may be able to scrap or s uh, scrape plaque off your enamel. If you want to take a fingernail, you may want to just uh, t rub your fingernail against your enamel. It actually, if you tap your enamel, it's sensitive. It's very strong. You know, enamel is just as strong as bone. This this part, that outer layer of your tooth is just as strong as bone. Be careful when tapping it. It can be sensitive. So learn that uh, the, the tooth has parts on the inside, like the dentin, the pulp, and the root, and then on the outside, like the crown and the enamel. Let's scroll down to another picture. Uh, I bet you didn't know where your salivary glands are. Salivary glands. You might notice the word saliva in the word salivary glands. Well, saliva comes from salivary glands. What I want you to do right now is, if, you, well, if you'd like, try to create some spit. Consciously, actually make the effort of creating spit. Did you know you're creating spit from these glands here? These glands uh, are where saliva is located. A gland is a part of the body, um, and um, we have one in our brain called the pituitary gland, and we've got um, other glands throughout our body. Things take place in these glands, and saliva is actually created here, here, and here. Three places where saliva is created. So I'm sure you've created some saliva by now, and if you haven't, go ahead. See if you can notice that saliva coming from these areas in your mouth. Do you notice saliva coming and starting from those areas? I want to talk to you a little bit about saliva, and then we're going to talk about teeth, uh, and then we'll end this lesson here. Um, did you know human saliva is mostly water? 99.5%, nearly all of saliva is just simple water, and a half a percent of saliva is mucus, it's enzymes, things that actually fight uh, bacteria, antibacterial compounds, such as uh, secretory eja and isozoim, or um, secretory uh, eja and isozoim. We're not going to worry about that, but we, this is where our salivary glands are located, and that's where saliva is created. Um, take a look at this. This is the last picture I'm showing you today. Did you know that that's what your tongue really looks like? That is your tongue, and that is really what it looks like. I bet a lot of you didn't know that it has this part here. The tongue is a muscle, believe it or not. Um, and that's what your tongue really looks like. It's a lot bigger than you think. Now, to end the lesson, there's about a minute left. What I'd like you to do right now is consider a couple of things. I want to go back to the teeth here and talk about teeth and saliva. Do you know your, your teeth and saliva work together? Your teeth, uh, they do what's called mechanical digestion. Mechanical digestion. Think about the word mechanic or mechanical. Mechanical involves moving. Uh, it, it involves uh, movement. Um, it, it might involve some manipulation through pushing, through force. And your teeth, whether they're incisors that tear or they're molars that chomp or they're canines that rip, what they're doing is a mechanical digestive action. However, Saliva is doing what's called a chemical digestive action. Saliva actually dissolves food. You may f uh, notice this. Uh, you may want to try this after the video. Take a bit of a cracker, bite into it just a little bit, and let it sit on your tongue and allow the saliva to slowly start dissolving it. You can even try putting a little bit of a cracker that you've been into um, into like a plate of saliva your own saliva, and watch to see if it actually becomes softer and more mushier. Saliva digests food because it chemically dissolves food. However, teeth digest food because they mechanically break and chomp and tear and move the food. The tongue, speaking of movement, is responsible for moving the food to the back of your mouth. Next time you eat, monitor s to see if your tongue is moving the food to the back of your mouth. That's it for our lesson today. Take the survey, and I'll see you in class. We'll study more of this on Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks a lot. Bye.